I want to show some of the other things you can do with FreeDOS, and one of them is an editor called FreeMax. It tries to be very much like the original uh, GNU Emacs program, um, but it fits under the memory footprint of DOS. So if you have any muscle memory or finger memory uh, kind of built up in uh, uh, for GNU Emacs, this will feel very familiar to you. Uh, now I'll start by mentioning that uh, I think we need to rehome the package. Uh, if I if I do uh, FD impulse, which is how you're going to install it, uh, you can see here I've I've done a FreeDOS 1.3 RC2 uh, base install, and then I've installed a couple other packages. One of which down here under editors is the FreeMax package. And you can see down here, this, these are all the files that get installed as part of FreeMax. Uh, and really what you're seeing is that uh, it gets installed to kind of a non-standard location. Uh, you need to go to uh, FDOS uh, doc, uh, and it's under progs. Uh, and if I do a wide directory, uh, you can see here that it's, it's, uh, these are all the files that are part of uh, FreeMax. Now I'll also add that I've, uh, it, it, uh, FreeMax gets installed as uh, sort of a packed um, uh, format, uh, and so by running it the first time, you're actually going to unpack it. Uh, so just expect that the first time you run it. Uh, the executable is uh, emacs.exe, so let's go ahead and run emacs. Uh, and here's the welcome screen for Emacs. Looks very much like GNU Emacs if you've used that before. Uh, and uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, start up a new file. So we're going to do Control X, Control F, and that'll start up a new file. Uh, let's just do uh, just a simple uh, test file. So we'll do test.c. And it's going to recognize the extension .c as a C program, and so it's going to put me into what's called C mode. Uh, Emacs is a is a uh, editor that supports these different uh, editor modes. Uh, and at the bottom on that on that status bar, you see Emacs test .c, and then in the parentheses C, because that tells you you're, you're in C mode. Uh, and so you can go, you know go ahead and start your your program. Uh, include uh, standard I O. Uh, and then you do your main program, int main, uh, int argc care uh, argv, and you can see that as I type, it's doing a couple of things. One is it's matching up my brackets, and also as I hit space, you can see it's actually showing me uh, when I have space. That little uh, purple dot is showing you where there's a space. Uh, and if I type other stuff after, of course, that space goes away because it becomes unimportant. But uh, that's that's one way that you can uh, use uh, uh, Emacs here. Uh, again, you can uh, you know do uh, int. There's a tab uh, int uh, c uh, int f. Right there's you can you can type your program. Um, kind of like you would normally do under GNU Emacs. Control X, Control S will save that. Uh, let's do another program just to kind of show a different language. And so we're going to do Control X, Control F to open up a new file. And let's do a Fortran uh, uh, program. And so I haven't done Fortran in a while, but I used to do Fortran all the time in college. Uh, we're going to do a, a simple uh, program that just does a conversion of uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, so C to F doesn't recognize the dot f that I normally use for Fortran. Uh, so we're going to do uh, meta x or uh, escape x and they're going to tell it uh, for mode and that's going to put me into uh, the major editing mode for Fortran. And so there's a little bit of uh, help for that. Um, so let's go ahead and type in my program. Uh, I'm going to hit uh, turn caps lock on and if I do tab, it'll actually insert uh, spaces for me, which is great if you're uh, programming in Fortran. Uh, so here we'll just type out a very simple uh, Fortran program, uh, program C to F. Uh, here's a comment. This is a comment. Um, and then uh, print star uh, convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. Uh, and then we'll do a prompt. Um, enter temp in Celsius, read uh, the value in Celsius, and then we're going to do uh, conversion into Fahrenheit, and if you remember that function, it's going to be Celsius times 9 divided by 5 uh, plus 32, and if you uh, know Fortran, you know that uh, you, if you have just 32, that's an integer. 32 dot or 32.0 dot zero is a uh, is, is a floating point value. So that's why I'm putting in these dots. 
Um, and then down here, I'm going to print the result. So I'm going to say print uh, temp in oops, uh, temp in Fahrenheit, and then uh, print star f. And then we'll go ahead and stop the program. There we go. And so there's Control X, Control S. That'll uh, save my file. Uh, and you can see this is. Uh, you know, like what you'd expect under Emacs. You can do certain things in here, uh, like uh, I don't like the fact that uh, I'm doing all caps, so I'm going to do uh, Escape C to capitalize my character, uh, Escape L to lowercase, uh, go up here to uh, enter, uh, Escape C will capitalize the word, uh, Escape L, Escape L does lowercase, and up here we'll leave this, well actually yeah, we'll go ahead and, and do this as a uh, escape C um, and then uh, escape L. So, you know, just a very quick introduction to uh, Emacs. I'll we'll go ahead and do control X, control S. Uh, just wanted to show you how you can use Freemax uh, to uh, edit files in FreeDOS. Control X, control C, of course, will exit. Uh, and so what do you think about uh, this quick introduction to using uh, Freemax? Uh, just put a comment uh, down below. Also, feel free to join us on our uh, website. Uh, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.